Well, hey guys, uh, this is Victor with Sunny Beach Photo. Uh, this video is uh, great for somebody who wanna build a photo studio, has some of those beautiful, seamless, savage back paper systems from, from the ceiling or the wall. And what I'm doing today is I'm building myself a little bar for the bottom of that paper. And let me just turn the camera real quick and show you. Okay, so a lot of folks I see on YouTube and everywhere holding up the bottom of the paper with some kind of clips like those, so I have some weight. And you know, Savage is offering those letter bars that they're for sale in Adorama, b &H, everywhere. So they're three, four hundred and eighty-five dollars, but the shipping cost is about 195 which makes it kind of crazy price around uh, what is like almost uh, $400 for three bars. So what I did today, I went to Home Depot and they sell those beautiful white moldings, wall molding, I believe it's called. There you go. That's the 12 foot wall moldings. They're made out of aluminum. It is thick enough and thin enough to cut. So my plan is to have the double-sided tape, tape on a few spots on each side. I did cut it off nine feet and I'm gonna show you later on what I'm gonna do. So I just cut my one piece of nine feet. I'm gonna tape it on this side, tape it on this side, then squeeze it. And I do believe that will work and that is only seven dollars so let's see how it's gonna work out okay and on a nine foot molding i did calculate i need to put at least five pieces of double-sided tape on each side so i'm gonna mark it's about 21 inches um distance in between so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna mark it. Alright, there's the last one. And on those places, I am going to place the tape. Okay, so here I put one in the corner, two, three, four, five, and six pieces along one side. Okay, so on this side I placed a few double-sided tapes along right here all the way to the end and let's see how it's gonna look like in a bit. All right guys, and that's how uh, my new letter bar looks, the weight on the bottom of the paper. Do it yourself for under $7. Obviously, it doesn't look as appealing as the Savage uh, $185 uh, three pieces uh, with uh, hefty $195 shipping, which is about $380 for three pieces. So that's uh, the wall mold made of aluminum. You know, it's not as it's super straight as the others. I did some double tape on the inside, on this side, and on this side on a few locations. Looks, it's not super straight, obviously. You know, it's $7, so keep that in mind. If you can work with it, or live with it, or be okay with it. So that's how it looks like, about 10 feet away, not bad at all. Okay, and next I'm gonna show you when I'm gonna pull that down and lay it down flat on the floor, how it's gonna look like. If you're wondering why I don't have diffuser, I'm waiting for my 36 inch Westcott by Manny Ortiz uh, diffuser to arrive in the next couple of days. So that's what it looks like, right? You grab your chain, pull that down, it's coming out nicely. Around here, well, I guess I can unroll a little more. Just a little more. There you go. Pull that down. Just to show you, right? There we go. Unroll it a little. Roll it a little more, little by little, so we don't mess up the whole paper. Okay. There we go. Even I'm gonna roll it a little more, right? So, just for example, if somebody's gonna be doing four or four shoes. 
Okay. So there we go. I'm gonna pull that down and turn the camera the other way and show you real quick how it's done. Okay, so that's how it looks like with my homemade bar at the end. It's not super flat, obviously. It's not as the finished products from Savage or any others. I still would recommend taping that down with gaffer tape or whatever your choice is. But for seven dollars, I think it does the job pretty well. There you go. Okay, and next I'm gonna pull the paper up just to show you how it comes up pretty nicely. Well, there you go. Tape, your tape measure and that's what it's gonna look like if you rather stick and have those guys absolutely yes you're more than welcome to all right I have my door jammers or under table jammers I believe on the first one and next I gotta do the gray seamless paper so this is what it looks like I might be able to straighten it up a little more after playing, but I don't think so, it's much necessary. All right. Okay, guys, so I did find out that those, some call them door jammers, they're kind of little hard rubber, things that you put under the table to level it if it wobbles. I really found out good that it's keeping those really tight and good, so. Quite good metal. One of these is around 40, 50 cents at your local uh, store for a yeah, local hardware store. Okay, and that's the gray, fashion gray, seamless paper. And I just put the do-it-yourself $7 letter bar. Unfortunately, the material is made of wool wrinkle. Maybe you have a better option or idea how to fold that 90 degree angle material without wrinkling, but uh, that's what it is. I'll pull it up to show you just in a second how it looks like. All right, guys, so I'm gonna pull that up real quick. And see how it looks like by itself. First time, so I'm getting a little smaller. stays and works so seven dollars and seven dollars fourteen dollars i could have buy three for 380 so if you can leave live with that that it looks like that when it's up i guess that's the way to go i'm gonna try to twist that up a little more but it is what it is well guys thank you for watching i hope you like my video it might be good, might not be good for some other people, but it did work for me, saved me about uh, $360 on the Savage uh, letter bar. And maybe when I start making a lot of money, I'm gonna order the Savage three bars for $380. All right, uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, hit thumbs down. Well, what were they saying, the famous YouTubers? Hit the bell for notifications. And there are a lot more do-it-yourself and photo studio related videos to come out of our Sunny Beach Photo Studio. Have a good one, bye.